The BTR-70 represents a significant advancement in the lineage of Soviet-designed armored personnel carriers APCs, building on the foundation established by its predecessor, the BTR-60. As an eight-wheeled, lightly armored vehicle, the BTR-70 showcases capabilities for both off-road and amphibious travel, facilitating the transport of up to seven combat-ready personnel into battle. The BTR-70 introduces several enhancements over the BTR-60, most notably a more powerful engine that improves its power-to-weight ratio, contributing to its overall performance on the battlefield. One of the standout features of the BTR-70 is its side-firing ports, which allow passengers to engage in combat without having to exit the vehicle, thus enhancing their safety during operations. Visually, the BTR-70 maintains the familiar appearance of the BTR series, particularly mirroring the design of the BTR-60 PB model. The vehicle's armor is sloped on the front, sides, and rear, providing better ballistic protection. The vehicle is equipped with eight large rubber road wheels, four on each side, with the front wheels featuring power assistance. To optimize performance, a tire pressure regulation system ensures balanced handling across diverse terrains. The crew configuration typically includes three members, while seating for up to seven passengers is provided through an entry-slash-exit door located along the side of the hull between the second and third road wheels. The vehicle's commander and driver occupy the front compartment, while a sloped armored turret, standard on the base model, though some variants forego the turret for specialized purposes, is situated at the front top portion of the hull. This turret is armed with a primary 14.5mm KPVT heavy caliber machine gun and a secondary 7.62mm PKT anti-infantry machine gun. The manually traversed turret offers a 360-degree field of fire, utilizing the same weapon systems found on other vehicles such as the BRDM-2 Scout Car and BTR-60PB. The BTR-70 is powered by gasoline engines that produce approximately 120 horsepower each, enabling the vehicle to reach road speeds of up to 80 km per hour. First unveiled to Western audiences during a 1980 parade in Moscow, the BTR-70 has since been employed in various configurations across the globe. During the Soviet war in Afghanistan, for instance, some BTR-70s were modified to include the Aegis 1730mm automatic grenade launcher mounted just behind the driver's roof hatch. The versatility of the BTR-70 has allowed it to be adapted into numerous specialized roles, including artillery spotting, command and communications platforms, NBC, nuclear, biological and chemical, protection and analysis, combat engineering systems and battlefield ambulances. In addition to its standard Soviet-Russian variants, the BTR-70 has seen modifications from various countries, including Germany, East, Romania, Ukraine, Slovakia, and Belarus, reflecting its widespread use and adaptability. A standout feature of the BTR-70 is its amphibious capability, allowing it to transition from land to water seamlessly. To prepare for water entry, a trim vane must be erected at the front of the hull, and bilge pumps activated to prevent sinking. A rear-mounted water jet propels the vehicle forward at approximately 9 km per hour in aquatic environments. In modern warfare, where the ability to traverse diverse terrains is crucial, the BTR-70's amphibious capabilities provide a significant tactical advantage. The BTR-70 armored personnel carrier encapsulates the evolution of military vehicle design, combining innovative features with proven operational flexibility. Its blend of speed, adaptability, and amphibious capabilities ensures that it remains a relevant and effective tool for military forces around the world. As it continues to serve various operators, the BTR-70 exemplifies the enduring legacy of Soviet engineering in the realm of armored warfare.